Welcome back to my channel. We're feeling fresh today. We've just done a 15 minute workout, my daughter and I. Since I'm already in active wear most of the time, uh, instead of thinking that I'm gonna get a 40 minute workout in at any point in time, I'm going to just YouTube 10, 15 minute workouts throughout the day. I feel like it's all gonna accumulate anyway. Um, so I've just found some awesome Pilates YouTube clips. We're getting ready now. We've decided last minute to go to the koala park. It's gonna be a nice sunny day. We're gonna do something fun. If we can get ourselves ready and in time and not procrastinate, the house needs to be cleaned, folding needs to be done, hanging needs to go outside, and I'm going to drop all of it, get myself ready, get my daughter ready, get my son ready, and we're going to leave. So we just got to the koala park. Car ride was a bit fun. Um, the baby's still getting used to the car. So he's six, nearly seven months. Um, but because I don't have a car and we don't, we don't <laughs> drive around often, it's a bit of a struggle sometimes, but we made it and we're all in one piece. So we're going to have an awesome time and look at some koalas. for my toddler here i am trying to give instructions getting frustrated and i said to her can you push the green elephant hey buddy oh good girl oh man he's full so we've just had an awesome time at the koala park i think we're gonna go home and see if i can start up one of my projects again what? well it might be redoing my clothes we still need to organize your room with all your toys and your brother's clothes. I need to just do the regular cull of things. This is constant, a constant, and any mum will know this. And I say mums because any default parent, let's put it that way, will know this, that you're constantly thinking about what your kids need to wear, going through their clothes to make sure everything fits. I just did it the other day for my daughter and I found another few things that are too small for her. So it's constant. So let's continue with our day. Oh, my daughter, if you just saw that flash, I found my old camera like point and shoot camera like i'm talking basic basic camera and she's learning how to take photos so we thought we'd come to the koala park and she's taken some beautiful photos of koalas um she's three and a half and i think she's doing really well and she enjoys it so she's having a great time son is not liking the car so we better get going yes i look like this i am on a feel better kick absolutely my last video i was very clear about the fact that i am not feeling 100%, oopsie. Six months postpartum and I'm just like, I'm so determined to do something about it. We are going to basically redo my, my clothes. We have minimal wardrobe space in this place. I do have lots of stuff. Most of my clothes are up and out of my reach. That's because most of my clothes don't fit me. I'm gonna bring them down. I'm gonna go through them thoroughly. Keep what I want to be wearing later. Donate what I don't want anymore. Try a few things on that I think maybe you know cutting it at the moment because i might have lost a couple of kilos maybe tiny amount and then we're just going to go from there and we're going to build a wardrobe that i am happy with for day to day put things away that don't fit me get rid of things that make me feel frumpy and daggy the leggings are going to have to stay because i'm going to be doing a lot more exercise i guess i just having more stuff at hand that i'm going to reach for that are not just leggings so jeans that fit me um other types of clothes that fit me dresses skirts the stuff that like makes me feel a little bit more that I've put in some effort. We're gonna start there today and then we're gonna see how we go. happened overnight two pairs of jeans are fitting me and by fitting i mean i can close the button and they stretch they didn't fit me a little while ago maybe this is kind of what i needed to make me really i'm not stepping on scales i just don't i don't think that help it's helpful i've kept one pair of maternity jeans um because 
I don't want to, I'm not planning on having any more. So it's not for that reason. I just really liked these jeans throughout my pregnancy. So these are my one and only pair of maternity jeans that I'm keeping. They're H&M. And but we they love were, you guys. But they're really, I like them. They're like distressed and ripped and just casual. My first pregnancy, I wore like, I was like, I'm not buying maternity clothes. I bought cheap. But then I ended up with like five or six pairs of daggy, like skinny leg, thin, thinning, daggy, like the cheapest maternity pants H&M have. So this time around, I was like, I'd rather buy one better, still H&M, so it's not like, you know, very, like a super expensive um, maternity brand, but they were the best ones. So I'm going to keep them for a rainy day, not for my rainy days, but maybe for someone else's, or maybe just for memorabilia, or maybe in my next car, I'll get rid of them. Who knows? <laughs> projects not going to get done all in one go and then i end up with struggling because my kids sleep in this room my room it has been hours and i've not done anything look look at that state of vacuuming that's needed <laughs> This might look strange, but this is how I store my jumpers because I feel like if I want that one, I just pull it out and normally it works. I mean, I have two hands normally. Um, and I can see all my jumpers instead of having them folded up neatly in a pile like my tops, which I forget which ones are at the bottom. So that's done. I Marie Kondo'd the shit out of my pants and believe it or not, I managed to bring some down from the top shelf, meaning that we have some new pants to wear. Uh, and I find that if I store them this way, then I tend to wear more of them. Let's hope that I do because right now I'm wearing like that much of all my pants. It's ridiculous. I still have all of this to do. On a whim, we've decided that it's my daughter's day to choose what we do today. She wants to go see the Opera House. So we're walking pram carrier to the train station. We're going to have an awesome day, aren't we? Yes. Are we? Yeah gonna have fun it's a beautiful weather but this is gonna be a mission and i need a coffee wonderful day in the city my daughter got an ice cream she's been amazing my son's been amazing yes. in the carrier and we have to cook some dinner 5 30 not an ideal time to start thinking about dinner but here we are anyway that's the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed please subscribe to my channel if you're not already like this video if you did and i'll see you on the next one bye